Hey guys, welcome to another video from Historic Militaria. And today we're going to be looking at a very standard uh, Mauser commercial broom handle made in about 1896, 1897. This is a very early cone hammer in the 2600 serial number range. And it's kind of cool because it's pretty close uh, sequentially to the gun that Winston Churchill would have carried. So it's pretty much identical in terms of what he would have carried and lost actually in Sudan. Um, it was confiscated and was really never seen again. There's a number of broom handles that claim to be the one, but uh, apparently all of them have been shown to be fakes for various reasons. But this is a standard gun, just like the one he would have carried. So let's take a look at it. Um, you've got your standard uh, cone hammer, obviously. So that's what he carried was an early version like this with all your milling and very nice commercial blue, very deep blue. You can still see the, the uh, milling that has gone on here, but it's very much covered up by that thick layer of rust blue that they would have used on the early guns and your wide serrated grips, which were generally wood. Sometimes you'll see a hard rubber ones, but most often the vast majority are gonna be the serrated ones like this. Also, your trigger is gonna be left in the white, which was something that they stopped doing after the cone hammers were made. They went to um, a strawed small parts like the trigger. Um, your small parts otherwise from the trigger are generally going to be fire blued. This has faded some, but this would be fire blued and it's also going to be serialized with the, the gun serial number on it. Um, this one has some very nice vivid fire blue still on the sight cursor and on the firing pin plate. This has got the standard thousand meter sight that you'll only see on the uh, on the broom handles. The one to 10 was pretty much exclusively used on broom handle uh, cone hammers. Uh, you'll also see a 500 rear sight on some of these. So it's a little more uncommon, but this is the standard sight that, that Mauser sort of used by default. Um, it seems like a lot of the ones though that went to England did have the 500 meter rear sight, but it really is not indicative. And this has got your standard Mauser front sight, which really didn't change all through production, and your smooth barrel. You've also got your uh, Ulm proof mark right here, which Mauser stopped using at about serial number 35,000. Take a look at the top of this one. You've got your long extractor, which also is fire blued with your standard Mauser chamber mark which really also didn't change all through production, except very rarely. Um, and then the backs of these are where your serial numbers are generally going to be. This one is in the 2600 serial number range. And then the serial number is repeated on the hammer. And that's really the only two places that it generally is going to be. It's going to be repeated a number of times inside the gun as well, but we won't pull this one apart to show you that. And then on the other side, you've got pretty much a blank gun, except for a crown U proof right there, which sort of always stayed on the broom handle. And other than that, it's a very, very standard gun. This particular one actually was found in a steamer trunk. Uh, Decades ago, it came to the United States from England and was just in a family and they were going through their stuff and found this. And that's where this one saw the light of day. The other thing you'll notice about uh, British guns, most all of them are underneath the barrel are going to have an inscription like this, which will show the caliber and something like a BNP with a crown, which stands for a Birmingham Nitro Proof. Birmingham being the proof house that did the proofing to ensure that the weapon was safe for firing. And something like uh, tons per square inch will be shown, something like that. Uh, words to that effect just shows that the gun was proofed with a high load for safety. And that was for guns that were gonna be sold in England. So this is a typical early commercial 
uh, Mauser, just like Winston Churchill would have carried, or a number of British officers who were seeking adventure in India or Africa or went to the Boer War. And nonetheless, it's just a very early gun, just kind of cool to see. Glad you've taken a look at it with me. Always remember to like and subscribe. If you've got any questions about it, or if you have a cone hammer yourself, definitely leave a comment. I'd love to hear about them. And thanks for watching.